God, a blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Look, who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. Mom? He's a nothing. Yet I have said, ah, children, children, they're your blessing in your old age. But my Aaron couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was as good as gold, never raised his voice to me. But otherwise, he was not much of a man. So what good is it if he never raised his voice? But what's the use complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, but not Yenta. Not everyone in the world is Yenta. Well, I must prepare my poor Sabbath table. So goodbye, Golda. And it was a pleasure talking our hearts out to each other. Yenta, you said you had news for me. Oh, I'm losing my head. One day it'll fall off altogether, and of course we'll kick it into the mud and goodbye, Yenta. Of course, <laughs> the news. It's about Laser Wolf, the butcher. A good man, a fine man. And I don't have to tell you that he's well off. But he's lonely, poor man. You understand? Of course you do. To make it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on Seidel. My Seidel? No, the Sar Seidel. Of course you're Seidel. Such a match for my Seidel. But Tevye wants a learned man. He doesn't like Laser. Listen to me, Golda. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Laser discuss it himself. He'll win him over. He's a good man. A wealthy man. True? True. So he'll tell me how it went, and you don't have to thank me, Golda. Because aside from my fee, which I think Laser will pay, it gives me satisfaction to make people happy. What better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golda. I say welcome. Mama, what did she have to say? When I want you to know, I'll tell you. It is watching the floor. Wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Model the Taylor. I didn't ask you. Well, Sidel, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings Oh, us. Yenta, Yenta. Somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things for themselves. She might bring someone wonderful, someone interesting, and well off, and important. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match.
sit in the synagogue and pray, and maybe have a seat by the eastern wall. And I discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. That would be the sweetest thing of all. If I were a mixed the idle, the old idle, digga digga, the old idle dumb. All day long, I'd bitty bitty bum. If I were a wealthy man, wouldn't have to work hard. The idle, the old idle, digga digga, the old idle dumb. Lord, who made the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy man? There he is. You forgot my order for the Sabbath. I know, Rue Morka. I had a little accident with my horse. Reptavia, you forgot the rabbi's order. I know, Rev Mendel. Reptavia, you forgot my order for the Sabbath. This is bigger news than the plague in Odessa. Speaking of news, terrible news in the outside world. Terrible news. What is it? What does it say? In the village of Trojanjenka, all the Jews were evicted, forced to leave their homes. For what reason? It doesn't say. Maybe a bizarre one of their land? Maybe a plague? May the Tsar have his own personal plague. Amen. Why don't you ever bring us some good news? I only read it. It was needed from the authority. May the authority start itching in places that they can't reach. Amen. Why do you, why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? All you do is stand around and curse and chatter and don't do anything. You'll chatter your way to the grave. So I'm the light. Excuse me, but you're not from this village. No. Well, then where are you from? Here. I was a student at the university there. Aha! The university. Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That's where I learned that there's more to life than just talk. You need to know what's going on in the outside world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. He's well, right. As a good book says, if you uh, spit in the air, it lands in your face. That's nonsense. You can't ignore what's going on in the outside world. He's right. He's right and he's right? How can they both be right? You know you are also right. He's right. He's, he's still left behind the ears. Good Sabbath, Tevye. Good Sabbath, Tevye. Uh, Tevye, the rabbi's order, my cheese. Of course. So you're from Kiev, Rev. Perchik. Perchik. As, as, well, as Abraham once said, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Forgive me. As King David put it, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Moses said that too! For a man who had a slow tongue, he sure talked a lot. And the cheese! Here. I have the money and I have no record. Here, it's a blessing for me to give. Well then, for your sake. Thank you. You know, it's no crime to be poor. In this world, it is the rich who are the criminals. Someday their wealth will be ours. That would be nice. If they would agree, I would agree. And who would make this miracle come to pass? People. Ordinary people. Like you. Like me? Nonsense! And until your golden day arrives, Lord Bridget, how will you live? By teaching children. Yeah. You have children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. <laughs> I would be one to teach them. Right, oh, sorry. Uh, girls should learn too. Girls are people. A radical! I'd be willing to teach them, open their minds to greater thoughts. What greater thoughts? Well, the Bible has many great lessons for their thoughts. Mark, you can't yeah. say that you I'm a very poor man. Okay. Food for lessons? Good. Come stay with us for the Sabbath. We don't eat like kings, we won't starve either. As a good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Now, where does the good book say that? Well, it says something about chicken and a man. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. And then go to areas. Good Sabbath, children. Good Sabbath, children. This is 
Perchik. Perchik, this is my oldest daughter, Zion. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. You have a pleasant daughter. I have five pleasant daughters. This is mine. <laughs> and this is mine. <laughs> and this is mine. <laughs> and this is mine. <laughs> and. Oh my! This is not mine. Perchik, this is model Cam's oil. And he is. This is awesome, ladies. Perchik, this is gold. Gold is Perchik. He'll be staying with us on the Sabbath. He is a teacher. Would you like to take lessons from him? I really am a good teacher, a very good teacher. Well, I heard once the rabbi who praises himself has a congregation of one. Your daughter has a quick and witty tongue. The way she gets from me. As the good book says, The good book can wait. Get washed. The tongue she gets from her mother. Of course. Zidal, two more. Tritza, Bilka, get washed. Mom can help me. Alright, how about you go with them? Get the table! You can go wash it as well. Why should today be different? I'm praying. The butcher. By what? I don't know. Only that he says it's important. What could be important? I have nothing for him to slaughter. After the Sabbath, see him and talk to him. About what? If he wants to buy a new milk cow, he can forget it. Tevye, don't be an ox. A man sends an important message. At least you can talk to him. About what? He wants to buy my new milk cow. Talk to him! All right, fine. After the Sabbath, I will talk to him. Anto is here. I saw her. If they find someone, then there'll be a match and it'll be too late for us. Don't worry, Sam. I, I found some of Sonny's used sewing machine. So in a few weeks, I'll save enough to buy it. And then your father will be impressed with it. But, Mama, a few weeks may be too late. What else could we do? Well, you could ask him for my hand tonight. Now? Why should he consider me now? We'll be poor Taylor. And I'm the daughter of a poor milkman. Just talk to him. So, if your father says no, that's it. It's final. And yell at me. Model! Just a poor Taylor. And only a poor Taylor is entitled to some happiness, right? That's true. Will you talk to him? Will you talk to him? All right. I'll talk to him. It's late. Wherever, where is everyone? It's late. Rotevia. What, model? What is it? Well, model, what is it? Good Sabbath, Rotevia. Good Sabbath, good Sabbath. Come, children, come.
Your best friend, you revelation. What's the occasion? Are you getting ready for a party? Oh, there might be a party. Maybe even a wedding. A wedding? Wonderful. I'll be happy to make the wedding merry, do the dancing and so forth, for a little fee, naturally. Naturally? A wedding is no wedding without you and your fee. Good evening. Vodka, schnapps, or right away. Good evening, Tavia. What are you doing here so early? He wants to buy my new milk cow. Good evening, Red Blazer. Good evening, Kevin. Sit down, have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. So how goes it with you, Tavia? How should it go? You're right. And with you? The same. I'm sorry to hear that. May I? So how's your brother-in-law in America? I believe he's doing well. Has he written you lately? Not lately. Well, then how do you know? If something was wrong, he would write me. Look, Debbie, I suppose you know why I didn't want to see you. Of course, but there's no use talking about it. Why not? Why yes, why should I get rid of her? Well, because you have a few more without her. I see, today you want one, tomorrow you may want two. Two? What would I ever do with two? The same you did with one. Look, Debbie, this is very important to me. Why is it so important to you? Frankly, it's because I am lonesome. Lonesome? What are you talking about? You don't know? We're talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. <laughs> a milk cow! So I won't be lonesome! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I'm talking about your daughter's idol! My daughter's idol? Yes, your daughter's idol! I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made quite a good impression on me. I like her. And as for, as you know, Tanya, I'm pretty well off. I have my own house, a store, a servant. And you won't need a dowry for her. And you might even find something in your own purse, you know. Shame on you! Shame! What do you mean I'll find something else in my own purse? My title is not the type that I would sell for money. As you say, we won't talk about money. Look, Debbie, the main thing is, let's get this over with. Why do we have to try to impress each other? Why can't we just shake hands and call it a match? I like her. What do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I never liked him. Why should I? You can have a fine conversation with him if you're talking about kidneys and livers. On the other hand, not everybody has to be a scholar. And if you're wealthy enough, no one will call you stupid. And with a butcher, my daughter will surely never know hunger. He has a problem. He's much older than her. That's her problem. But she's much younger than him. That's his problem. I always thought of him as a butcher, but I misjudged him. He's a good man. He likes her, and he'll try to make her happy. What do I think? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Take it, that's wonderful. Let's drink on it. To you. Oh, no, my friend, to you. To us. To our agreement. To our agreement, to our prosperity, and to good health and happiness, and most importantly, to life, to life, the higher. To life, to life, to life, to to the Father I try to be. Here's to my heart to be. Make the higher, to life, to life, the higher. The higher, the higher, to life. Life has a way of confusing us. Blessing and bruising us. Bring the higher, to life. Life is to be joyful even when our hearts lie. Thank you. 
Jacob was forced to work for another seven years. Now, children, the Bible clearly teaches us that we must never trust an employer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Now... There's Papa's this. not yet. No, Mama. But enough lessons. We have to do Papa's work today. He staggered home last night and stumbled into bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. Put that away and clean the barn. Come when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Perchick. I suppose so. Although, I don't believe that the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. And neither, I suppose, would the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. <laughs> but what do you know about him, except that he is the rabbi's son? Would you still be interested in him if he was the tinsmith's son or the shoemaker's son? Well, at least I know this. He doesn't have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Of course, any new idea would be strange to you. As the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. You have a little spirit, even a little intelligence, perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain? Without curiosity, it is a rusty tool. Good day, Hobble. We have an old custom here. A boy acts respectfully to a girl. But, of course, that's too advanced, too traditional for an advanced thinker like Our you. traditions! Nothing must change. Everything is perfect exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing all over but here. Here, men and women must keep them apart. Men in the study, women in the kitchen, must not touch, not even look at each other. I'm looking at you. You are very brave. Did you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate without the permission of a matchmaker? They can hold hands and even dance together. New dances like this. says, good news will stay and bad news will refuse to leave. You know, there's another saying that goes. You could die from such a man. Ah, Seidel. Seidel, my lamb, come here, Seidel. You are going to be congratulated. You are to be married. Married? What do you mean, Papa? Laser Wolf has asked for your hand. Oh, my heart needs to do as I look at day. Oh, dear God, I thank thee, I thank thee. And what do you say, Seidel? Well, what can she say? My firstborn, a bride. May you grow old with him in good fortune and honor. Not like from a Sarah, that first wife of his. She was a bitter woman. May she rest in peace. Not like my idol. And now, I must go think Yenta, like firstborn, a brother. Mazel tov, Saito. Mazel tov. You call that a mazel tov? And you, Perchik, why are you so silent? Congratulations, Saito, for getting a rich man. Again, with the rich. What's wrong with being rich? It's no reason to marry. Money's the world's curse. May the Lord smite me with it, and may I never recover. My Zyla knows I only mean for her welfare. Am I right, Zyla? Yes, Papa. You see? I see. I see very well. Oh, Zyla, why are you so silent? Oh, Papa, Papa. 
What? what? What is it? I can't marry him. I don't want to marry him. What do you mean you can? If I say you will, you will. If it's a matter of money, I'll hire myself as a servant. I'll dig ditches. I'll haul rocks. Just please don't make me marry him, Papa. What's wrong with Laser? He likes you. All my days will be unhappy. I'll dig ditches. I'll haul rocks. But we made an agreement. And with us, an agreement is an agreement. Is that more important than I am, Papa? Please don't force me. I'll be unhappy with him all my days. All right, I won't force you. Thank you, Papa. It seems that it was not ordained that you should have the comforts of life, but that we should have some in our old age as well. Lord W, may I speak to you? Not now, model. I'd like to speak to you. Not now, model. I have problems. That's what I can talk to you about. I think I can help. Like a bandage can help a whole corpse. Goodbye, model. At least listen to her, Papa. All right, you have a tongue. Talk. I hear you're arranging match for sale. He also has ears. I have a match for sale. What kind of match? A perfect fit. Perfect fit. Like a glove. Like a glove. This one, this, uh, this match would be exactly to measure. Perfect fit made to measure. Stop talking like a tailor and tell me who it is. Who is it? Yes, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's me, myself. Him. Himself? Either you're completely out of your mind, or you are crazy! He, he must be crazy! Arranging a match for yourself? What are you? The bride? The matchmaker? The guest of the world into one? He must be crazy! Please don't shout at me, Reptavia. As for being my own matchmaker, I know it's a little unusual. Unusual? It's crazy! Times are changing, Reptavia. The thing is, your daughter Selena and I gave each other a pledge over a year ago that we were married. You gave each other a pledge? It's true, we gave each other a pledge. They, they gave each other a pledge. Unheard of, absurd. They gave each other a pledge. You think of all. But they're going to be a
been dead for years. You must have been drunk. Sit down. Tell me what you dreamt and I'll tell you what it meant. It was horrible. Tell me. All right, only don't be frightened. Tell me! Okay. Everyone I knew was there. Everyone, even musicians. And in the center of it all, we watched her grandmother's idol when she was in peace. Your grandmother's idol? How did she look? For a woman who's been dead 30 years, she looked naturally well. And actually, I walked up to her and she said,
brought on by that butcher! If my grandmother's idol, may she rest in peace, took all the trouble to come to the only underworld and come to us to warn us about the butcher, then all we can say is that it's for the past and it could not be anything. Amen. Amen. Amen.
field, may they live together in peace to a ripe old age. Amen. Amen. Ah, here comes our beloved rabbi. May he be with us for many, many years. Amen. Amen. I want to announce that the bride's parents are giving the newlyweds the following. A new feather bed, a pair of goose pillows. Goose pillows. Goose pillows. And that pair of candlesticks. Mazel tov. Now, let us not in our joy tonight forget those who are no longer with us. Our dear departed, who lived in pain and poverty and hardship, and who died in pain and poverty and hardship. But enough tears. Let's be merry and content, like our good friend Laser Wolf, who has everything in the world, except the bride. <laughs> but Laser has no ill feelings. In fact, he has a gift for the newlyweds that he'd like to announce himself. Come, Laser Wolf. He's right, I have no ill feelings. What's done has been done. I am giving the newlyweds five chickens, one for the first five Sabbaths of their wedded life. Thank you, Rep. Laser. You are a good man. As the good book says. Well, Rep. Okay. Tevye, I'm not marrying your daughter. I don't have to listen to your sayings. If you are only going to listen a second more. Oh, why should I listen to you, the man who breaks an agreement? Not now, Laser. We're in the middle of a wedding. I have a right to talk. What right isn't your wedding? Oh, it should have been. Rep. Laser, don't shame Rep. Tevye at his daughter's wedding. Well, he shamed me in front of the whole village. Shock! Shock! Quiet. The rabbi say something. I say. I say. Let's calm down. We all heard the wise words of the rabbi. Now, I'd like to sing a little song. You can keep your deceased chicken. We find chicken out of this. We made an agreement. The terms are unsettled. We drank. Once a butcher, always a butcher. We made an agreement! No, no, no. My grandmother came to us from the grave and told us that it was modeled. What sign? What grandmother? My grandfather came to meet you between his first grandmother's and his father. <laughs> <laughs> the terms weren't settled. We drank on it! Quiet, I'm singing! I love sign! An agreement is an agreement! Quiet, quiet! What's all this nonsense about? They drank on it, an agreement, a sign. So nonsense. So I don't want it to be model, not laser. A young girl decides for herself. Why not? Yes, they love each other. Love. Horrible. Nonsense. What happens to the matchmaker? <laughs> I know. Let's all calm down. Musicians, play a dance, a dance. Come on, dance the wedding. Some wedding. What's he doing? Merchant. That's what comes with the wild man in your house. He's in the wild. His ideas are a little bit different, but that's a sin. It's no sin to dance at a wedding. But with a girl? Well, Rabbi, is it a sin? There, you see, it's not a sin. Good. Now, will somebody dance with me? Hoddles. It's just a dance, Mama. Play! <laughs> Of course. 
That was quite a dower you gave my daughter's idol at her wedding. Was that necessary? Anyway, Madeline's idol have been married for almost two months now. They've worked so hard. They don't realize how miserable they are. They're as poor as synagogue mice. Model keeps talking about this new sewing machine. Could you get it for him? Oh, and, and while you're in the neighborhood, uh, could you please fix my poor old horse's leg? Am I, am I asking too much? You know, as the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? Please don't be upset, Bottom. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, you must. I do have to. They expect me and Kia by tomorrow morning. So you told me then goodbye. Great changes are about to take place in this country. Tremendous changes. But well, they can't happen by themselves. So naturally you feel that you personally have to. Not just me. Many people. Jews, Gentiles. Many people oppose what's going on. Do you understand? I understand. Of course. You want to leave them goodbye. Hoddle, your father, the others, they think what happened at Sarah's wedding was just a little cloud burst. And it's all over and everything will be quiet and peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Violence, pogroms, whole villages are being emptied of their people. It's reaching everywhere, and it will reach here. Do you understand? Yes, I suppose I do. I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. Goodbye, Richard. Before I go, I have a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? A political question. What is it? The question of marriage. This is a political question? In a theoretical sense, yes. The relationship between a man and a woman known as marriage is based on common beliefs, mutual outlook and philosophy on society. And affection. And affection. Uh, this relationship has positive social values. It reflects a unidarity and solidarity. And affection. And affection. And I am personally in favor of it. Do you understand? I think you're asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense. Yes, I am. I was hoping you were. So then I take it you agree, and we can consider ourselves engaged, even though I'm going away. I'm happy, Harold. Very happy. And when shall we make the wedding, Richard? As soon as I can, I will send for you. It will be a hard life, Harold. But it will be less hard if we live together. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Rectavia. I have bad news. I must leave this place. When? Immediately. I'm sorry, Bridget. We will all miss you. But I also have good news. You can congratulate me. Congratulations. What for? We're engaged. Engaged? Yes, Papa, we're engaged. No. No, 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 you're not. I know you like him, and he likes you. But you're staying here, and you're going away. So I'm sorry, Perchik, but go in good health, and my answer is no. Please, Papa, you don't understand. No, no, I understand. I gave my permission to model and cycle, so you feel like you also have a right. I'm sorry, Perchik, I like you, but you're going away, and my answer is no. You don't understand, Papa. You're not listening. Reptavia! What is it? We are not asking for your permission, only for your blessing. We are going to get married. You're not asking for my permission? But we would like your blessing, Papa. I can't believe my own ears. My blessing? For what? For going over my head. Impossible. At least with modeling idol. They asked me. They begged me. But now with my life, you're not. 
Another dream? Perhaps something that I'm going to visit a rich uncle, something like that. So, um, thank you, Bridget, but I think I can handle my own life. Open. <laughs> With 
who? My child. Will, be, will there be to perform a ceremony there in the wilderness? Papa, I promise we will be married under a canopy. No doubt at Rabbi Rage, who will also be arrested. Well, give him my regards, that hero of yours. Tell him that I rely on, my, on his honor to treat my daughter well. Tell him that. We will leave it in, in his hands. says that he isn't. It's just that he is a different kind of man. As the good book says, eat to each shall seek his own kind, which translated means a bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? The world is changing, uh, Papa. No. Uh, Some things do not change. Some things will never change. We don't feel that way. We? Fiek and I, we want to be married. Married? Do you know what this means? Marrying outside of the faith. No, Papa, I said no. Never talk about this man again. Never speak of him again. Never! Do you understand? Yes, Papa, I understand you. Ah, he's finally here. Come on, it's almost supper. I want to see models and machine. You can come back later. It's almost supper. Don't anger me, woman, because when I'm angry, even flies don't dare to fly. <laughs> I'm very frightened of you. <laughs> After the supper, I'll faint. Come on, let's go home. Golda! I'm the man of the house. I know the family. I want to see Mom's machine now! Now let's go home! What is it? It's Hava. Shh. 
She left this morning with Fiedka. What? I looked all over her. I even went to the priest. He told me they were married. Married? Let's go home, little buddy. You have work to do. I have work to do. Let's go home. But Hava... Hava is dead to us! We will forget her. Go home. Three days. 
We should get together with the people of Zod and see if they have a plan. We should defend ourselves. 949 and 242. Very good. That way the entire, the entire world will be blind and toothless. Uh, Rabbi, uh, we've been waiting for the Messiah our whole lives. Uh, Wouldn't this uh, be a good time for him to come? We'll have to wait for him someplace else. Uh, meanwhile, let's start packing. I have more than a hundred bottles of vodka. What will I do with them? What am I supposed to do? Life, parents, three kids. Well, Anatevka hasn't exactly been the Garden of Eden. That's true. Besides, what do we have here? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A pot, a pan, a broom, a hat. Somebody should have set a match to this place long ago. A bench, a tree. So what's a stove or a house? People who pass through in the temple don't even know they've been here. A stick of wood. A piece of cloth. What do we leave? Nothing much. Only an attacka.
Maybe next time, Golda, we'll meet on happier occasions. Meanwhile, we suffer. We suffer. We suffer in silence. Right? Of course, right? <laughs> Golda, we'll have to hurry. Come, Golda, we'll have to leave soon. Leave? It sounds so easy. Well, thanks, Edward. No, thank you. Models, I own the baby. That, that model is, is a person. And how will I perch it? Will we ever see them again? Kid, they hardly write us for the sun, or even see us. You know, she writes. She sits at, he sits in prison all day, and she works. In two months, they'll be set free, and they'll turn the entire world upside down. They could be, they could be happier. And yes, all the children will be with us. Not all. All. Come, Golda, we'll have to leave. And where are you going? I have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? I'm not leaving a dirty house. Uh, well then, Tevye. I'll be on my way. And where are you going? Chicago, America. My wife from Asara, may she rest in peace, her brother there. That's nice. I hate him. <laughs> a relative is a relative. Uh, goodbye. Sorry, are they finished inside? Almost, Papa. Thank you. Papa. So good to see you. I, we came to say goodbye. Maybe I should go inside and tell them. <gasps> Papa, we came to say goodbye. We are also leaving this place. We are going to Krakow. We cannot stay among the people who can treat others this way. We wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Papa. Mama. We are going. Some are driven by edicts, others by silence. Come, Papa. God be with you. God be with you. We will write you in America. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. Yes, Mama. Bye, Papa. Bye, thank you. We will be staying with Uncle Abram. We're going to be staying with Uncle Abram. The whole world has to know our news. Stop your yelling and finish packing. We have a train to catch. I don't need your advice, Golda. Seidel? <laughs> Seidel! Yes, sir. Don't forget the first <laughs> bit. Oh, don't forget the baby. Thank you. Josie, <laughs> 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 come on into the car. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. Work hard, Milo. Come see us soon. I will work heavy. I'll work hard. Come. Huh.